Hey guys, Mike Kama here with Man Flash Tastic. The one and only on, on the, the Xbox Live. That's right, everyone. Welcome to another Jamco Review Show where we unbox and review the things that you love. And on today's episode, we do Loot Crate. Crate. That's right. And the theme is Discover. Discover. Uh, not to be confused with Explorer, which was our last theme, and that dealt with uh, the inner workings of space and exploration. This one, I think it's more inclined to the discovery of sci-fi related stuff, so pretty exciting. You guys ready to get inside the box? Yeah. Alright, let's waste no time. Who wants to get the first item? Alright, you're going big on this one. Uh. Ooh, okay, so this is, real quick, just to give them a setup. This is from Super Emo Friends. The first time we ever received one was for 11 from Stranger Things. Oh. We got the Super Emo 11. And what's cool about this company is that it started off as artwork. This artist kept doing some really cool and creative uh, artwork based on popular characters. And the artist made the characters look sad or emo. Now, you guys are not allowed to watch it only because it's intended for adults but you guys are allowed to own toys so let's go ahead and Whoa. open this up what do you think here you have the the backdrop or the scenery here you have the base and here you have the two figures i have caught glimpses of westworld i do like the original movie the original was a cool sci-fi movie here we have uh dolores and arnold yeah, let's go ahead and put this together. I'll Ooh. help you out. How about you tell me about the colors or the paint scheme? I like uh, the hair color of the girl. Mm -hmm. And I like how uh, the gun looks. Oh, and it's really small detail. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. It's a small figure, but it has a lot of detail. It almost reminds you of like a Dorbs from Funko. What do you think of the paint job? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and I like how this looks like. Uh, house a little bit, and I like this. The chair? Yeah, yeah. you could put the chair here, and then she's standing behind him. So that is pretty cool. Like I said, I do like the original version of Westworld. I'm not necessarily fond of the remake. I do like Jeffrey Wright as an actor. He is fantastic. He's my favorite part of the show if I had a favorite part of the show. Overall, pretty cool figures. Yeah. yeah. I wish it was something that you guys would also be interested in, but like I said, it's, it's not a kid's show. One thing to note, this is for uh, aspiring artists out there. Continue to draw, continue to make awesome artwork, and maybe one day your artwork could turn into toys. You guys mind if I get an item? No. All right. Now, in every one of these Loot Crate boxes, we do get a shirt or some sort of apparel that is guaranteed. That wasn't the case when Loot Crate started, but the fans spoke, and they've been giving us a shirt for quite a few years now. Oh, this is pretty cool. Is Rick? Rick from Rick and Morty. Oh. This is pretty pretty epic i do like this show a lot and here you have the inner workings of his mind or his brain and that's pretty cool and i like the tie-in between rick and morty and westworld because a lot of this has to do with the subconscious mind of course you have morty right here at the forefront and a quick little quick little trivia rick and morty is loosely based on the dynamic between doc brown and marty mcfly yeah it's just like a, a i guess a more tainted version of that so that is pretty cool now of course these kids watch rick and morty on a case-by-case -case basis meaning i have to watch the episode first and if i deem it to be suitable for them they watch but we typically enjoy rick and morty the ones that they can watch and I enjoy this shirt. It has this like 90s uh, vibe to it. Very uh, bright pinks and blue and the yellow. It's very vibrant and I can't wait to pair this up with some cool sneakers. Kudos to Loot Crate for this shirt. All right, buddy, go ahead. Boom. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Harry Potter socks. Are those socks? Yeah. That is fantastic. That is awesome. So are you familiar with Harry Potter? Yeah. No? I think you saw the first film with us, right? Alright, this is something that we do want to get into as a family because, of course, we just went to Disneyland uh, not too long ago and our next trip is Universal Studios, Hollywood, and they have a Harry Potter world there. So before we go to Harry Potter world, you guys have to watch the movies, or at the very least, read some of the books. But this is pretty cool. You know who would enjoy this? Uh, Mom? Yeah, that's right. She Aww. is the real deal Harry Potter fan. Because off the top of my head, I think this is Ravenclaw. This is Gryffindor. This is Hufflepuff. My favorite is Slytherin, only because, you know, I like the dark side. What do you think of the colors? I think it's awesome, man. In the back, mm -hmm. it shows like a hat. That right here is, I believe, the sorting hat. 
you know when at the beginning of the school year they say oh this is you're gonna be your class that's gonna be your class so this is basically telling you what class of wizardry you're going to be in this would be a perfect gift for the camera woman it's pretty cool let's go ahead and do the pin loot crate started with button pins and about a year and a half ago when the pin craze came about they started with these pretty cool epic enamel pins or these cool interactive pins and right here we have a westworld pin that is pretty cool i really do like that i like when loot crate gives us things that we could potentially wear and it's recognizable from the show and it makes us feel like we're a part of the show what do you think i think it's awesome and in the middle will show something well if you see it from a bird's eye perspective or a, a higher perspective it's actually a maze oh yeah it's a west world it maze it looks like okay so there's like a circle uh -huh. and you have to try to get the ball into the middle oh yes I, I played with those before but if you take a closer look it looks like someone's dabbing kind of kind of right now okay. of course xbox <laughs> xbox <laughs> now of course x files is back on tv and that I do love. I love Agent Scully and Agent Mulder and the Smoking Man, oh, right? I like and I love government conspiracy. And I do think the truth is out there. The truth is out there. <laughs> Luke Ray gave us the X Files card game. Now, I'm not entirely sure that it was necessary to have an X-Files card game, but anytime you could be a part of the world, I'm super into it, and this is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and take this out. This is called the Circle of Truth, and you have this pretty cool carrying case for these cards that are in here, and a replica Scully identification. Of course, you have Dana Scully right here, Department of Investigation, FBI, Special Agent. Let me go ahead and take it out of this piece of plastic, and oh this is awesome so you have dana scully right scully. and they have fox molder so that's pretty cool and you have the, the, the different icons and clues and stuff like that and of course you have uh i guess the clue descriptions and stuff like that that is pretty cool this may be a game that's a little mature not necessarily in terms of tone but just instruction but i mean we'll take a crack at it as a family i'm super into that of course we have the instructions right here so that's pretty cool you have the circle of truth oh that is awesome this oh, is awesome fun. this is my favorite i want to believe that is fantastic i could easily just say you know what i'm gonna dish the cards and i'm gonna use this as my official id badge holder or just a like small little wallet when i go to uh, venues and i don't want to carry all my stuff in there you're interested in playing that game no no you much rather play uno huh yeah all right yeah me too so overall what do you guys think of the box uh i thought it was cool but i wish they could put a little bit more stuff into the box okay that's a good point uh more stuff i feel like since loot crate raised their prices i feel like if you raise the prices you got to raise the quality not just necessarily the quantity and i don't see that the quality is all that great i do love the shirt and i love this but for purposes that have nothing to do with the cards so i'm just gonna go ahead and take this and use this as my work badge holder I'm not sure I'm too fond of this box. So what would you give this box, Michael? A uh, four and a half. What would you give this box? A uh, four out of five. Four out of five? I would give this box a three. I'm not entirely fond of it, but that's just me being me. So we have a four, a four and a half, and a three. Uh, it averages out to about a 3.5. All right, so what should we use as a means of grading? You want to use a shirt? Yeah. That's unprecedented. We haven't used a shirt before. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and give this box three out of five shirts. You guys ready? One, One, two, two three. three! Out of five. Okay. you have anything to say to these beautiful people on here on YouTube? Go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below. That's right, everyone. Go ahead and super smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you know when we upload a video. You guys ready to disappear? All right, in three, two, and...